Uh, welcome to the official IBU Prince Conference after Women's Sprint in the second week of Nove Mesto Namurabe. With us again, the winner, Tiril Ekov of Norway. Tiril, it's your 11th win this season. You have just tied Tora Berger's record from eight seasons ago. How do you view this achievement, although you say often you don't take yourself too seriously? But this is seriously big. <laughs> Thank you. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's so. So uh, I think it's. Uh, I'm in a really good flow now, and I can't uh, describe it. But I was together with Tura when she was on a, in her strike. So um, uh, I think eight years uh, has gone, and a lot has happened, and um, I'm really, really thankful. And it's also your sixth sprint win of this season. Can you just take us through your? Race today it was one miss, but you said in Oberhof you now know you can win with one miss as well. Yeah, I I was lucky with my number today. I was 30, and I had uh, Denise and Dorothea before me, and I had uh, really good uh, feedback in the in the tracks. So um, I just have to say thank you to the team because we had good skis and good feedback, and I I knew I could manage the win. And it's also your first sprint total score title. What does this mean to you? Uh, to be honest, I really need to pinch my arm because I, I still feel like it's a dream. And uh, I, uh, I've been, I, I really love biathlon and I'm happy to just um, do well biathlon, you know. <laughs> and we saw Ingrid, I mean, obviously shouting you on in the last meters. How much does this help in such moments and how important it is for you to have a good friend when you are on the road so, for so long? Uh, it's uh, very good and uh, it's, uh, it makes m the traveling much easier uh, because uh, sometimes it's hard to travel so much with, as we do. Um, so when you have a friend like Ingrid, it's, uh, it makes everything a little bit more fun. And do you sense when everybody notices somebody is doing something extraordinary, like you are doing this season, that people, you all are willing you on to, to go deeper, even higher in your achievements, like this season. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to answer on that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Truly well done. Thank, Thank you very you so much. much. Congratulations. Uh, second place went to Denise Hermann of Germany. Uh, Denise, another very good day on the shooting range. How did you see your race today? Yeah, I'm really happy about the shooting today. It needs one year to uh, have a clean shooting in the sprint. Last year in Novemester, I have the same. And I'm really happy about this. I feel really good this time in the shooting range. And I feel much more relaxed than in the beginning of the season. And now I'm really happy with the podium again. And normally, when you start winning, this natural relaxedness tend to go away. How did you keep it from last week, this time? Yeah, I make um, the pressure on me is much more less this time. And yeah, it's the end of the season. And my goal was yeah, to, be, uh, or to beat the girls for the overall World Cup from, from the beginning. Maybe it was a bit too much pressure on me. And yeah, now I'm a bit tired of this thinking and of this high goal and it's over and also for the world champs i was a bit in struggle with myself and with my body and now it works much more better and also in the shooting range when when you are relaxed it's much easier to do biathlon but is this something you could learn and apply next season because it sounds like it's your you putting pressure on your own self Yes, it's yeah. Every athlete wants to win, and when you know that you have a good shooting and they're in good shape on the track, then yeah, you can beat everyone. And yeah, that's nice to know, but also a bit pressure on yourself. And sometimes it makes harder to uh, be uh, or to have a perfect uh, performance. And this time, I do just what I want to do and what I love to do, and this is skiing and shooting and on a high level. And I'm happy that I can show this the last competitions. And it's for the third time now in a row that you have really strong finish to the season. Why do you think? Is it because you relax more and not put so much pressure on you or is it just a natural rhythm for you? Yeah, maybe this was the first thing, but in the second thing I 
know that I have a good basic on uh, my performance and also I am a, an older athlete and have a lot of trainings the whole years and I think at the end of season everyone gets a bit a bit tired and now or you notice and you see us on the track that the other girls are also tired and then yeah you can push a bit harder and I know I'm a, in good shape and I train a lot and I can hold it during the season. Keep it up, thank you, congratulations. Thank you. Third place went to two-time total score winner, Dorotea Weir of Italy. Uh, Dorotea, fourth podium of the season. What went well today for you? Yes, I think um, I'm in better shape than at the beginning of the season. And uh, of course, the 0-0. Zero zero. Uh, it gives me a lot of confidence. It's it not happened so much in the sprint, so, so often in the sprint. And uh, also last week, I just missed the podium for one second. So um, I think it was uh, a good biathlon today. And how challenging it is to improve the condition during the season when there is no time actually to do more training? Yeah, it's really difficult. I mean, uh, I was st starting the season when I in not a good shape. I was always tired, but you can't, um, or me, I don't want to to miss some World Cup and to rest. I prefer to to fight in every race. I know that it was really hard, but uh, you know, it's also the seventh season in a row that I'm in a top goal. So it's it can happen that sometimes you are a little bit more tired. <laughs> and can you tell us um, how mentally exhausting for you was the last season? You, you defended the title, you had the big home championships, a lot of new appointments, as you told us in summer. <coughs> uh, I think it was um, a really good after the, um, the World Cup. I was resting a lot because of the lockdown and everything. So I had no appointments, but uh, end of the summer, it was really, really busy and I had to manage everything, training appointments and I had no rest. And I was just in September, I was completely, yes, um, gone. And uh, but I had no no time to recover, so I was at the beginning of the season just over and out. But uh, I mean, it's it's my job, and I have just to fight also in these things. And I mean, it was not the uh, not a bad season, but uh, of course uh, I'm still with the top goal, so it means it was something good. Uh, it uh, I did so. <laughs> and what do you still want to do? It's four more competitions, <laughs> and also knowing that last two seasons you still had everything to fight for in the last four competitions. Um, yes, I think I just want to concentrate about the races. I mean, uh, everybody is tired and can't wait to go home. <laughs> and uh, yes, I think I've, I'm a little bit in better, in better shape than in the rest of the season. So it gives me a little bit more motivation. And uh, that is helping me a lot. If not normally at the beginning of the season, I'm, I'm really tired uh, normally, but I think this season it's a little different. So I just have, I don't have to fight for nothing. So <laughs> just do my best. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.